All right, hello everyone, it's Silver Kyle, and we've got some more Marvel goodness today. Yesterday, the Spider-Man No Way Home teaser trailer was launched. Freaked out about that. Today, I just received the Wolverine Volume 2 Omnibus, so I, I love this streak right now that we're in. I'm freaking out right now still about that trailer. It's an incredible trailer. Go check it out if you haven't seen it before. But today, we're going to be talking about the Wolverine and Volume 1 and Volume 2. These covers look gorgeous together it's too bad that this isn't how we kind of have our books sometimes because the as much as i like spines um this just looks beautiful i mean you could do this once in a while with some of your um more prized possession omnibus kind of display them like this but these two go so well together the colors of the you know the uh the orangish brown turning into yellow just like his suit uh this looks beautiful uh, i really really am digging it and also a big positive for me is that the spines line up look at that that is beautiful now i don't know if this is because that this is you know the 80s the late 80s and early 90s material so they might not like maybe the I, I think it's only the silver age stuff that's really being affected with those uh new spines that they've been uh working on in the last little while which is really weird like why why change it for silver age but not for anything else and you keep it for the, I, it seems really weird just keep it all uniform like this nobody was complaining about the uh spine before i'm going to mention this all the time just because i feel like it's such a big thing and for collectors that's a a, a major uh issue uh, for some of us so i want to mention it the other thing too is that uh, volume one had this weird really weird spine where it was completely flat we don't have that with uh, Volume 2. Volume 2 is uh, doesn't look like... Well, I don't think it's like that. It opens up very nicely, uh, which I'll show you in a little bit. And it, I don't even... If, no, let's... Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's do a comparison of the two of them. I mean, they kind of look the same to me, I guess. But it will open... That's really weird. I didn't think it was like that. It opens up beautifully because uh, I, I stretched it out properly. And we'll take a look at that in a second. All right, so now we're going to take a closer look at the cover and we're going to take a look at everything that is included in this. The spine, I really have no idea if this is the flat version. I mean, it's because I stretched it out. It does have like a little bit of a an indent here and you can't really, uh, maybe you can. It's, it's a little bit different, uh, but it, it opened up really well. So I'm okay with that. And now look at all of this. This is a crazy amount of material. That we're getting i've like just to give you a comparison they loaded up the, the volume one but this is loaded up even more we're getting 1248 pages in volume two and it retails for as per usual uh the 125 in the us 157 in canada i ended up getting this for 120 from amazon from pre-ordering it when it first showed up on amazon.ca so I, I paid 120 dollars canadian and that it does include tax and it was shipped for free um now it does uh, have uh, the mature content uh, that we're getting and it collects a crap ton of stuff here so we get wolverine 11 to 30 havoc and wolverine meltdown 1 to 4 wolverine nick fury the uh, scorpio Con uh, scorpio connection wolverine the jungle adventure wolverine bloodlust and material from marvel comics presents 38 to 71 and that's pretty much it and then they just have everybody that's included uh, that wrote this so quite a bit of material and i actually did have one of the issues here and i just want if i can find it i don't remember why i had that i don't know when i would have picked it up it's one of the marvel presents that one right there that's the issue that i had from back in the day and i think i would have picked it up at some used comic book store because i wouldn't have i, I wasn't collecting comics at the time that it was written let me get the flaps. I can't wait until maybe volume four, five, and six, I feel, is what uh, I kind of grew up with. So eventually, if when they get to that point, depending on how they map things, of course. Also, this is just freaking gorgeous. Look at that. That too. Let's... Show them both off, actually. Really nice stuff. Okay. All right. And like I said, this does open up quite nicely for a, uh, a book that is 1,248 pages. 
volume two. We get everybody that worked on the book. We get the table of contents with the page that they're at, the year that they're, uh, they, they were released. And this is from, I think, 1988 uh, up until 1991. We get some material up until 1991. And then we get the actual covers for everything here. And they did a really good job. Like, you see that white line that they have there? So they pushed out the image so that you don't get any gutter loss. Not only does it open up really nicely, but they pushed out the actual images so there's a bit of a white line so that you don't get as much gutter loss at all. Like, it just kind of flows really well. Like, that's really nice. Obviously, we're at the beginning of the book, too. Anybody else get, like, Persona vibes from this? There's a lot of different kind of art in this uh, throughout this entire book. Like that's that's I don't I'm not really a big fan of the look of this, but um like the actual art, but the colors are really nice. Have to give them that. <laughs> like the weird nose. Yeah, see, this is where it starts to get interesting with the gutter loss. There is still a little bit, but not too bad. And we'll show you the eye in a little bit as well. That's that's a nice image. That I don't find that there's, you, you, you know, they, they did a good job of getting these together. Just depends, I guess, on the page that you're on and how much they push it out. Now we're getting a little bit more. Now, okay, does anybody else, I, I checked to see if it was, but this reminds me of John Romita Jr. It's not. Like, this is his, like, late 90s, kind of. Like, the, the, the characters, the way that their faces look. Reminds me of Romita Jr. These are probably some Wolverine issues. Let's move that just to the, a little bit more to the middle. That's a cool image. Getting close to the middle here. And now we've got some Wolverine Presents. This I like. I like the art of, of the Wolverine Presents quite a bit. Who's the artist on that? Well, let's say on the next page. It's hmm. curious. And we'll just quickly go to the end. Oh, and this, the pages, they're glossy. For the most part, they're glossy. There is a few. Every once in a while, I've been noticing a lot with the Marvel Omnibus lately that they kind of go from glossy in certain issues and then kind of not at like a little bit rougher. For the most part, it's all glossy, but there was a few times where I kind of touched stuff and it felt a little bit different. So just giving you all a heads up. Um, there we go. Just the extras. That's cool. I like that. That's nice too. Sketches. Oops. That's nice. Trading cards. Quite a bit in this omnibus. That's nice. So there you go. And we'll just take a quick peek at the eye. Uh, somewhere about there. Sewn binding. And I mean, pretty darn good. Pretty darn good. So there you have it. Wolverine Volume 2 Omnibus. 1,248 pages. Let me know in the comments below what you thought of this run. 
And uh, yeah, thank you all for watching. You've been bearded in. Beardage.